Welcome to QA Box. Let's test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. We are going to talk about variables and constants. It's a very important topic. But first of all, let's understand what is a variable. Obviously, as the name suggests, something which can vary. But what is that something? All right. So that something is nothing. It's a data, which is very important, vital for any business. Okay. So. Where do we keep the data? We keep the data into the database, into the file system. All right. So this is where the data resides. However, when the program executes, it reads the data and put it into the memory. Okay. So memory is what? Memory is your storage. Okay. So we read the data from the database or from the file system and put them into the storage so that our programs our programs can read the data, manipulate the data, all right, depending upon whatever we have to do. So now how can we retrieve the data from the memory? So if we give name to a particular address in the memory, we can retrieve the data stored at that particular location, all right? Just like imagine it like your, your, your house has an address. So with the help of that address, people can reach to your house. Okay, the same way variables are nothing, they are symbol or pointer to the memory address where your data is stored. All right, an example could be Taj Mahal, it's a symbol name, all right, and it represents the geolocation coordinates, the longitude and latitude as you are seeing on the screen. All right, so this is a variable, okay, and a variable could contain different data types. What is a data type? A data type could be, you know, let's say you have to store some text. So in programming, we call that a string. If you need to store, let's say, whole number or a fractional number, in JavaScript, both whole number and fractional number are represented by one data type that is called as number. Okay. Then sometimes a question could be asked in such a way the answer could be yes or no. Right, so in programming, it could be true or false. Okay, so to represent the true and false, we use Boolean data type into programming. All right, so here are some different data types which are available into JavaScript. They are in total seven, so you could see six here, and one more is big int, which is not here. How it's 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 present, right? So string used for storing and manipulating text. All right, number used for storing and manipulating number with or without decimals. Boolean used for storing one of the two values, true and false, single bit. It is useful in controlling program flow using conditional statements like if, else, switch. Don't to hung up on these terminologies. We'll see that in, in the coming videos. Undefined. So you say, hey, I know there would be some value put into this particular box, but at some later point of time. So I'm just creating a box now and we'll fill it later, all right? So you just declared that you want a box, but you don't provide the value, right, immediately. So then the box will contain undefined. Null is pretty much like undefined, but slightly different because you, you know that, you know, the value is empty, all right? And at later point of time, you will assign it to something. All right, any n stands for not a number. So while uh, executing your program, at times you encounter a situation that you know if your number is, uh, if the data is a num is of number type, then you are going to take x route. If the data is not of number type, you are going to take y route. All right. So these are different types. Then we also have more types like you know non-primitive. What is primitive? We'll, we'll talk about that. But broadly, so these are different data types that are available. All right. Now there are certain rules which we have to follow while creating a variable. So in this whole series, I'll try to stick to the console available in the browser itself. All right. So all we have to do is open the developer's toolbar on the browser and click on the console. So what is the syntax of creating a variable so there are there are some steps involved so first step is you have to declare 
a variable so to declare a variable you have to use either var or you can use let okay and we'll see the difference between these two in a later video but for now let's stick to var okay and let's say name so where then a space then the name of the variable this is the symbol to a memory address right so equal to you can say anything you can say qa box let's test okay so this equal to is your assignment operator okay and if it is a string you have to use double quotes or single quotes right so whatever you write between these two double quotes single quotes sorry is considered as a string right so all you do is hit enter and how can you use that you just say name hit enter and you get the value back it's of type string so this is the console and this is the command that we use to log anything onto the console now to test or to verify the type of any variable right we use this so we say type of and we write name and it will tell you what type is for this variable okay so there are some rules that we have to remember while creating a variable all right what are those rules so rule number one is name can contain letters digits underscore and dollar sign all right however the name cannot start with a digit so you can do something like this test one two three all right however you can't do something like one two three test one okay if you do so you get the error okay and the other thing is javascript is a case sensitive language okay what do we mean by that so if you type name you get the data back but if you type name like this it does not exist okay so that's why it's a case sensitive and you can also uh, cannot sorry you cannot use the reserve keywords like you can't do where and where um, wherein this where is the name of the variable you can't do so again you will get the error okay so variables store a single data value that can be changed later okay so name was qa box now we can change it to one two three so now name is equal to one two three okay so you can change it at later point of time but it can only store one value okay we have already talked about where and let keyword must be initialized before using it so you can do something like where age you can just declare it and at later point of time you can set it okay so now the value is 23 let me clear out this console all right so variable in javascript as lo loosely typed so in those compiled uh, programming languages like you know java and you know c sharp it is required for you to provide the data type while declaring that variable so the syntax there would be something like you know you have to provide what type of data you are going to store into this in advance all right so you can say int age is equal to and then you can only store integer data type if you try to store anything else right it will throw an error so it's a loosely typed language that first definition second part of loosely type is so initially you what you can do is you can say name is equal to all right and then you can again change it back to one two three so this is a string and this is a number in those programming language again you'll get the error but in javascript since it is loosely typed not strongly typed so you can do this and you can also use the syntax a equal to one b equal to two c equal to three so multiple variables can be defined in a single line using this particular syntax so now you can check a 
B and C. Okay. So constant. What are constants? So constants behave like variable except that they cannot be reassigned and must to be initialized. So let's see that. So we say const car and we say so in variable we saw that you know we can declare and then initialize later but we can't do so in case of constants so it is mandatory to provide the value so let's provide the value so if you do so now car holds value 4 and if you want to change it to something else it is not allowed okay that's the major difference between variable and const so though we have highly talked about um, briefly talked about you know the data type how can we figure out the data type but what are these primitive data types and non-primitive data types so primitive data types are the data types provided by the programming language as a basic building block right a primitive is data which is not an object and has no methods all right an interesting thing is all these primitive types are immutable means they cannot be altered all right don't be confused with with a variable assigned a primitive value you know the variable may be reassigned a new value but the existing value cannot be changed in the way that objects arrays and functions can be altered right so mean meaning where name is equal to all right we say a b c all right and if you assign a new value is equal to something let's say one two three right so what's happening is initially when you do this there is a value stored in the memory a b and c and a pointer is created to that memory address and the symbol name for the pointer is name all right now with this one more memory storage is created where this one two three is stored and now the name has started pointing to that so you still have that abc in the memory all right so you can't change primitive data types okay another interesting thing is that since we said that you know these are there just to store data and they are you know because they are primitive types you know so they are as such no methods available to these data types and because they are lightweight also it, it improves the overall performance however there is an important topic in javascript and because of that we can still apply a lot of methods onto these objects okay so let's see those so if i say uh, name dot to uppercase so sorry about that to uppercase and if i hit this so you see all in uppercase now so this has happened because of a reason all right the language allows access to methods and properties of string numbers boolean and symbols what are these these are wrapper classes so for all these primitive types you know they are wrapper classes into javascript and because of those wrapper classes these methods are accessible even to the primitive data types now how does it work in order for that to work a special object wrapper that provide the extra functionality is created and then it's destroyed once the job is done all right the string in this particular case name is a primitive so in the moment of accessing its property a special object is created that knows the value of the string and has useful methods like to uppercase the method runs and return a new string right which is capital abc the special object is then destroyed leaving the primitive name alone all right so primitive can provide methods but they still remain lightweight all right and javascript engine basically highly optimize this process 
it may even skip the creation of extra object at all but it must still adhere to the specification and behave as if it creates one okay so that's another important thing what are these non primitive data types right so non primitive data types are like your, your object your arrays you know your date object and they are mutable okay so the value can be changed after it gets created all right so we'll we'll cover these into more detail in the upcoming videos but that's that's about these data types all right so let's now look at the example of these data types okay to understand them better so how can we declare a string we talked about that okay so we have to use either single quote okay or we have to use double quotes all right and we can also use a mix of this so what we can say is uh, let's say if i have to type let's okay i can use this because if you use this see what will happen so this is in red right and your program now looks out for a variable the compiler will looks out looks out for a variable with the name s all right and if we do so we get the error all right now how can we handle that we wrap all this inside double quotes all right and then you hit enter and you get name all right and the opposite will also work so outside you may have single quotes and then inside you can have the double quote all right there is one more way you can do so and that is going to be right if we have something like this we can use the escape character all right what does this escape character do this will literally escape the following character and now you could see that this is how it works all right so that's about your strings so we have talked about uh, double quotes single double quotes right single quotes double quotes all right and this escape character now in numbers as i already talked about it covers your both fractions and you know the whole integers so you can say age is equal to 23 and you can also say age is equal to 23.4 all right and how to check the type so you can say console.log type of age all right hit enter okay so there is a typo in here there has to be no space and you see number okay boolean is true and false okay and see the difference if i write anything between these codes they become string all right and you could see the difference in the color as well okay so this is boolean this is a string all right undefined what is undefined we say where xyz okay and now if you say xyz it will give you undefined okay i can set the value to null means empty and then if you do xyz it will give you now null and if you could use this example okay it will give you okay so not a number is what so you do something like 42 divided by something and this will give you not a number okay so this is about variables and constant into javascript i'll see you in the next video thank you bye bye